Today I want to show you another way of adding a pattern into your clay. Today we are going to be working with inlay. So what I've done so far is just roll out a half centimeter slab of clay. I wanted this video to be sort of like a comparison to last week, so I'm going to use the exact same bisque forms, and we're going to be using two different colors of clay. One is just the standard white that comes from the bag. All my clays come from Kaliega. And then we're going to be using this Reclaim that has iron added to it, so it's quite dark. And actually on this tile, you can see it's quite marbled. On this piece, I didn't really want that marbled look, so I just wedged the clay really well, so it should be a little bit more flat of a color. So you want to roll out your base layer clay first. This is going to be the color that's going to be like the background of the image. It's also going to be the color that's on the outside. So I'm just doing my white as the base layer and then my darker irony clay is going to be the actual checkerboards. So I'm gonna set this aside for now. And what we need to do is roll out some of the darker clay. I'm gonna start with these half centimeters, but eventually I'm going to roll it down to these three centimeter thickness gauges. These are my thinnest uh, gauges, and basically the thinner you make your slab here, the less distortion you're going to have. Okay, now I'm gonna switch over to the thin ones. compress the clay a little bit to be really careful when the clay is this thin that you don't rip it. Okay, so now we have a three millimeter thick slab and now we're going to cut little squares out of it. I'm thinking two centimeters by two centimeters, something like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and just cut out as many little squares as it makes. Okay, so we have all of our perfect squares here. You can see the grog chunks, and now I am regretting <laughs> using this clay. We're going to now transfer our squares to our other slab. So I'm obviously not going to use this whole slab, so I'm thinking I'm just going to kind of like mark what parts I need. Like I'm gonna go a little bit over. So we're just going to pick these little guys up. They're quite fragile. I'm just gonna go ahead and lay them down, okay? This is inlay. You can do all sorts of shapes as you want. I just got a request to do some checkerboard. That's why I'm focusing on this topic for now, but I've seen some really gorgeous illustration type ceramics made with this technique. It's gonna take a little while though. Now comes the part that I'm very nervous about, which is we're going to roll in the lay. We're gonna roll in the inlay into the slab. So I'm gonna put a piece of newspaper on top because I feel like that's gonna help it from smearing too much. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna slowly, should I do this on a wedging board? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this on a wedging board actually. I just need the, slab to be able to move, and I don't think it can move on this newspaper. Thickness gauges, you can tell I'm nervous. That's just, I'm just gonna slowly, actually I'm gonna use the big one. All right, let's do it. looking pretty cool. I 
I really want to rib this because then it will smooth out some of these cracks, but I also feel like it's going to smear. It's blurring the lines just a tiny little bit. You guys know I don't mind when things get a little wonky, but <laughs> for the sake of the video, I'm trying to show you what you can do. Let's give you a close up, huh? Not bad, huh? You can see maybe like right here, there's a tiny bit of smearing along this line, but I'm okay with that. So after all that, let's make it into a bowl. If you don't know nothing about bisque molds, I do have videos on this already, so I'm not going to explain the whole process. Okay, I'm just gonna let this dry out and we move on to the plate. Well, I think these are looking so good. All that's left to do is let them dry out. I'm going to bisque them and then I'm gonna put a transparent glaze on them and I'll catch up back with you guys when they're finished. I'm so happy with how these turned out. Here are our insanely cool plates using the inlay method. And here's how they compare to last week's technique of Nerikomi. If you want to learn how to make this more psychedelic pattern and probably one of the most satisfying techniques known to pottery, watch this video right here. Bye friends.